What's going on guys? Cleo Thomas aka Mr. Slick Living and welcome to Storytime. Now I have to tell you guys about this one time me, my mom, and my dad turned a Hollywood club into a full-on Royal Rumble. Here's what happened. We were at the after party for, uh, for a film that I had just done and I had a celebrity girlfriend at the time and I decided to bring her along with me. I felt like I was a G walking down the red carpet. Everything leading up to the after party was great. And then uh, she had just purchased a Louis Vuitton purse. And this purse meant a lot to her. She worked hard for it and she had all of her, her makeups and, her, and her, her phones in it. So she sets it down to go and dance with me. Uh, we were only on the dance floor maybe five to 10 minutes. And next thing you know, she comes back and the purse is gone. It was stolen. Now for the next hour, She's crying, my mom and my dad, and including me, are at security's neck, like, yo, check the camera, somebody had to take it. Now, if you're in LA, you're in Hollywood, you know how Hollywood club security is, they don't give, they don't care, they don't give a damn, they can't wait for you to get up out of there. So, for the next hour, we're, we're, we're arguing with the security, we're looking through the clubs, and then at the very last second, my mom notices a woman about to walk out of the club with a jacket over her forearm and there was a Louis Vuitton purse. Now my mom only stands about five foot four. This woman was at least five nine, five ten. A cool 210 in that range, it's a big woman. So my mom reaches for the purse. Here it is, and that's all I heard from behind me. And I look, and I see this woman getting ready to hit my mom. Boom, she hits my mom in the back of the head. And she's getting ready to swing on my mom again. And my dad, like Ray Lewis, just comes sprinting right past me. Boom! Blast her, just sends her flying, right? Two dudes that she was with jumped my dad, right? I'm way down at the end of a hallway and I could just see it happening at the other end of the hallway. I had all this jewelry on. I was, uh, I, hopefully you guys can find pictures of that night and you'll put it next to me when I'm telling the story so you can see what I had on. So I start taking off the hallway, stop. Realize I gotta take off all this jewelry, way too much jewelry, way too expensive to get robbed and beat up and snatched for. So I threw it back to old girl and then take off running. So now it's me, my mom, and my dad fighting four other people in this club over this god darn Louis Vuitton purse that she shouldn't have left sitting there in the first damn place. So pops didn't be, be, be somebody at. I'm walking out with a black eye. Bottles were thrown. Nobody was arrested. But security did apologize. They felt that, you know what, we are sorry. We should have looked in the cameras. And my mother tore all of those guys' heads off. Or that entire night was their fault. They could have been looked and seen that the purse was still in there. That woman stole it. So yeah, me and my family know how to get down in clubs. And if you ever think we gonna test us and like you ain't gonna get your ass whooped, you will get your ass whooped. So you won? We won that fight. It was amazing, bro. It was amazing to be back to back to back with my parents fighting out of a club. It was incredible. It was just hand stone everywhere. It was there was bottles. Oh my God! Someone grabbed that. You know the, the bottles that the uh, they, they, they they go in that tin bucket that sits in, on the tables in the club. Pops grabbed that shit. It was it was full on Royal Rumble in there. 